Fairfield HS. I'm Ian. And I'm Chandler. Seniors, we have a few announcements, so listen up. If you haven't already, go to A100 to check the spelling of your name for your diploma and pay your senior fee of $65 at the bank by tomorrow. Then you can take cash or check. You can pay online, but it will charge a convenience fee. Post like graduation stoles are now on sale for $25. Please see Ms. Thompson for more information. Or it's to be placed by February 20th. Seniors wanting to try to perform on our senior night must come by room B305 to get the tryout form. All forms must be turned back to Ms. Also by Friday, February 14th. Tryouts will be held the week of February 24th after school. Also, nomination forms for senior superlatives will be sent out to your student email by tomorrow. The nominations will close Tuesday, February 11th. Wilson County Schools is hosting Mott Low State College Professor Veronica Mitchell to provide juniors and seniors a free three-hour ACT workshop on February 22nd from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. at Wilson Central High School and February 29th from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. at Limna High School. She will share your test strategies to maximize scores on each of the ACT subsets. Each workshop is only limited to 250 students. Go to the LHS website to register. Students must sign up using their Wilson County Schools Google email. The Humane Society will meet in Miss Jordan's room after school today until 3.30. Science will be at a meeting today at 3 o'clock in C105 in Ms. Otis's room. All members that need to attend or see Ms. Otis this week. Students wanting to take the bank class next year need to turn in their application by tomorrow. The Volunteer State Medical Terminology Test is April 4th. If you have successfully completed a minimum of three health science classes, you qualify to take the test. See Ms. Tomlinson and sign up by February 20th. The cost to take the test is $25. The yearbook staff is working super hard to get your students' books perfect so they can have memories that last a lifetime. Yearbooks are currently $80 and will go up a final price of $90 on February 16th. Please support our staff and provide your students with something they will cherish before we sell out. We also have an alumni book for $10, and any student who has purchased a current yearbook can receive that price as well. There will be a crew meeting for the musical tomorrow after school in Miss Sweet's room A702. LHS swimmers Emma Peruki and Wade Matthews will represent Lebanon High School at the 2020 State Championship this weekend. Competition will be held at University of Tennessee Aquatic Center in Knoxville. Now, here's Logan and Raymond with sports. Hey LHS, I'm Logan. And I'm Raymond, and here is your sports news. The Nashville Predators faced off against their Central Division foe, Winnipeg Jets, Tuesday night. The Predators fought hard with their offensive weapons and prevailed by a score of 2-1 in overtime. Nick Bonino and Mikhail Granlin tallied goals for the Predators, and Nashville moved into fifth place in the Central Division standings. Currently, they have 57 points, and their next game is tonight. Oh, man. That sentence is really long. Did it? Uh -oh. That sounded great. It was really long. Yeah, like, I was running out of breath. Yeah. Man, oh, no, yeah. You well, were trying yeah, to... really and Ian was standing up, and I could just see him behind the monitor. <laughs> he just got, he's got his phone up with a picture of the B movie. Sit like. down. All right, you know what? Like, if we start from the beginning, it's a one take. Yeah. All right. Over. We're starting from the beginning. Good boy. All right. <clears throat> and I was about to say, and Raymond, like, you see. <laughs> Oh, I totally <laughs> noticed that they said and. <laughs> it would be great. And I'm Raymond. And Raymond. Hey, LHS, I'm Logan and Raymond. <laughs> hey, LHS, I'm no, Logan, and, I'm Raymond. and I'm Raymond. No, it's fine. I can. I got it. I, it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got it. We, got we, we should have done sports first, because now I just feel like Ian's going to mess us up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, don't don't let him in. Don't <laughs> leave, let him in. Leave him out there. Make him wait. I'm gonna make him wait. Yeah. Tell him that we're recording. All right, go to count us in so he don't walk back in here. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, LHS. I'm Logan, and I'm Raymond, and here's your sports news. The Nashville Predators face off against their Central Division foe, Winnipeg Jets, Tuesday night. The Predators fought hard with their offensive weapons and prevailed by a score of 2-1 to one in overtime. Nick Benito and Mikhail Granlin tallied goals for the Predators. Nashville moved into fifth place in the Central Division standings and currently have 57 points. The Predators continued their Central Division road trip tonight as they prepare for a game against the Calgary Flames at 8 p.m. 
The Grizzlies played the Dallas Mavericks last night at American Airlines Center. The Grizzlies won the game by a score of 121 to 107. John Morant led the team with 21 points, and Jared Jackson Jr. tailed with 19 points. Memphis remains in the eighth seed in the standings as they prepare for a matchup against the Philadelphia 76ers tomorrow at 6 p.m. It's that time of year again. Baseball season is right around the corner. Lately, some huge trades have been the highlight of the offseason. Tuesday night, the Boston Red Sox traded away two Tennessee homegrown products. All-Stars Mookie Betts and David Price were traded to the L.A. Dodgers in a blockbuster three-team trade. In wake of the trade, All-Star outfitter Jock Peterson was traded right down the I-5 to the Los Angeles Angels. The Memphis Grizzlies traded Andre Iguodala to the Miami Heat for Justice Winslow, but are in the works to make that trade a three-team trade to send Daniel Gallinari from the Oklahoma City Thunder and Andre Iguodala from the Grizzlies to the Miami Heat, which is awesome because I'm a Heat fan. The Philadelphia 76ers and the Golden State Warriors made a trade last night as Glenn Robinson III and Alec Burks were sent to the 76ers in exchange for three second-round picks. The Atlanta Hawks and Sacramento Kings also made a trade as Dwayne Dedman and two second-round picks will be sent to the Atlanta Hawks in exchange for Jabari Parker and Alex Lynn. There has also been a deal between four teams where the Atlanta Hawks received Clint Capella and Nene. The Minnesota Timberwolves received Malik Beasley, Juancho Hernan Gomez, Jared Vanderbilt, Evan Turner, and the Nets' first-round pick. The Nuggets received Shabazz Napier, Keita Bates-Diop, Gerald Green, Noah Vonley, and the Rockets first round pick. The Rockets receive Robert Covington, Jordan Bell, and a second rounder. There will be more trades today as the trade deadline concludes at 2 p.m. That's all for your sports news. Back to you guys. Tomorrow is senior night and our last home game of the season. The game is against the Gallatin Green Waves. Students get in for free with their 2019-2020 student ID. If you don't bring your ID, you will pay $6 at the gate. The girls game starts at 6.30 and the boys to follow. Senior night will take place right after the girls game. Your Adventure awaits prom will be at the mill April 17th. Tickets are $55 and can be purchased at the bank or online. If you buy your tickets before March 6th, you will get a free t-shirt. The prom fashion show will start today at 6 and end at 7. We will have rents for Davis Bridal, Men's Warehouse, Liquor Salon, a Nail Salon, an All-Star Limo. Any LHS students will receive 10% off for All-Star Limo through March 1st. You must mention LHS Blue Devil Dancers to receive the discount. They will donate to the dance team if you book. Valentine's Day isn't too far away, so we wanted to make you aware that certain rules apply for gifts. If gifts are delivered to students, we will hold them in the front office until the end of the day for students to pick up the final bell rings. Items will not be delivered during the school day, and please remember there is no class allowed on the school bus. Okay. If you'd like to show someone how much you appreciate them, buy them a singing bell time from our chamber choir. They are three dollars and sold at lunch. February 8th, the softball team is hosting a chili supper and a silent auction fundraiser in the cafeteria and commons. Softball players are also selling $1 donation tickets for a chance to win a set of tires, which I desperately need. Some auction items include a 7 night vacation, fitness membership, national predators tickets, oil changes, gift certificates, and more. This can be purchased from any softball player and may be also bought online. Anyone interested in playing soccer in the fall? 
please stop by A103 and sign up. We will have an interest meeting next week. That's all the news we have today, Alex. I'm Chandler. And I'm Ian. And this has been news to you from the white and blue.